you know, Daniel's had his fair share of injuries in the past, but this was different. Um, this one came with a lot of uncertainty. We just didn't know whether he was going to, or if, when he was going to get better, or if he was actually going to get better. I love the kangaroos, but I go there just to watch one player, and that's Daniel. He's just such a joy to watch, and we're just so excited that um, we can get to a game this year, and um, so far, hopefully. And um, yeah, just want to take our daughter Ladate to watch her daddy play. Uh, last year was. It was a difficult year to be honest, um, probably more difficult than the year before, uh, only because it was the Achilles and we thought it was so simple at the start and then you know, weeks just kept rolling on and we didn't get to you know, exactly know what it was until probably later on in the year and we just didn't have any time really, we just kept catching up, kept, kept chasing our tail and then before you know it the season's pretty much done, I probably wasn't in, in great shape as well, um, physically and mentally um, towards the end. So. I was probably relieved when the season finished and put a lot of work into it to try and get back and um, it's unfortunate when I went played my first BFL game I hurt my knee and then the next one I hurt my, my, my calf um, and I played another one after that and it's just just ran out of time. You know people um, describe footy as a roller coaster ride and it really was, it was this long drawn out roller coaster ride and my understanding of it was that Dan needed time to heal but the season was progressing and, and time was ticking, I guess. You can really find out who you are too and when you're in rehab and you know two years in the wilderness is, is a long time. I definitely made me stronger um, and more confident that I can overcome things. Um, I have my fair share of injuries but these last two are pretty hard. And like last year the, the Achilles it was like someone jabbing glass into the back of your leg? Yeah at the start it was real really tough, really sore and um, it was hard to explain and um, the pain was really, really um, strong and severe, and I really um, didn't know what was going on with it. And you know, we had surgery to try and get rid of the nerves and calm them down during halfway during the year, and that sort of worked for a little bit. But it just happened to be a, a program of strengthening and loading it, and, and just progressively working, working um, through that process. And that just takes time, um, and we didn't have that last year. So, but the pain was pretty full on. Yeah. Going into tomorrow, what's the plan and how do you feel? I'm looking forward to it. Look, it's going to be a um, good play to get someone else other than your teammates for a little bit and, and good for the team as well to, to work on our structures. And, but because it's only be, going to be a short um, time, I'm just going to really go for it and test all my body out and make sure I can get a good blowout. Try to go as hard as I can, but it's really tough actually. Um, you know, I only, only got one quarter, you can blow yourself up pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, I felt like I did a couple of good things. But the main thing for me was probably trying to try get the setups right and making sure I'm in the right places. And a couple of times I probably was in the wrong spot, but it's just a bit of experience not being out for the last couple of years and just getting used to it again. Um, no, no feeling in the Achilles or anything? No, nah, like not at all. Not at all. That felt good. Normal as. Uh, it's best it's felt for a while now, so it's the last thing I was thinking about. Just, just the lungs was hurting a bit, and yeah, just trying to, trying to get a kick. He wanted a very strict diet a couple of months ago, just to, to shed a few kilos that he'd put on, a few extra yeah, kilos. Yeah. What do you mean? You look good. <laughs>
far wide to get the result. Two minutes, boys, back up the mats. Daniel Wells starting in the middle. Post to Taylor Adams. They tangle through it, and it's Daniel Wells that gets the mini win and the big high kick deep into attack. Yeah, but opportunities to think for him. Do they go with two Ruckman or not? Grundy seems to clearly be the number one. Now Wells I like giving, that. giving North what they are after. Still has it. It's all right. Oh, bang, yeah, leave it. Pretty good afterwards. It's good to get the first game out the road. And no injuries, concerns? Nah, nah, feel good. No injuries, Killy's felt good. Everything felt good, so he's happy. Are that the water boots tonight? Those ones? What about the other ones? <laughs> no. Huh? I'll warm up on them, see how we go. Why the, why the orange lot, Dati? Um, they look nice. But I like the black ones and the yellow ones too, but I just, just like the orange one. You like the colour. Once once we start packing the bags and getting in the car to get ready to go to the stadium, we start you know, start to switch on a little bit. You know, mentally you want to stay nice and fresh. Um, you know, physically you're gonna be alright for the match, but you can wear yourself out mentally. It's got a banner. Got a banner that you put up. So I try not to think about too much and um, once I get there then Start the zone in. I'm so proud of the way Daniel dealt with it. I'm just, I, I'm, he was just amazing. Like he left all his injury worries and frustrations at the club and when he'd come home to his family life, it was like he, you wouldn't even know that he was battling this injury. There was a jump, I want to see one jump. Come on, give me the big one. Bang! Nice. <laughs> just to be honest with you, for me, every week my heart would break for him. He's a tall boomer, he's real tall, yeah? Is he? Are you sure? Yeah, he's short. Are you short? <laughs> he's a good player. He's tiny. He's tiny. He's our best player still, isn't he? He's a legend. <laughs> Who's Brad Scott? Who's the mummy? <laughs> he's a water boy, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he's a water boy. He's good, isn't he? No, Brings the water to no, us. He's Brad he's Scott. Coach. He's Is a he? coach of the kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, coach. Do you have any fear that your, your body might let you down or do you just not even think about that sort of stuff? You can be a little bit nervous but then I think if, you get, if you're too nervous about something you can almost take over, you know, the emotions a bit and you can change your sort of the way you're going to run around out in the park and so I'll just try and, you know, have a, I should have confidence, I do have confidence in what all the work I've done. That's why. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll put this up here. It'll stuck back in. It should stuck back in. Oh, the wind's going to take it. Straight through. Yeah. Falling. 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 Falling.
yeah, just business as normal. So just trying to get the fitness up and trying to get a kick. So.